Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about a very simple strategy to chunk your huge text. And this we need mainly because we want to send this data as a prompt for OpenAI or any other model modeling system wherein we need to reduce the size of our input. And the reason why I am making this video is because I received a lot many comments from my viewers that they don't want to use NLTK or tick token but they still want to go ahead and chunk their text so whatever I'm going to show you today is based on the simply numpy library we are not going to use NLTK tick token rejects module or even the wrappers written by Langchain or hugging face so let's get started by importing OpenAI and in next step I'm just setting my OpenAI key which I have already grabbed it and here I'm having a text file which is homelessness.txt. So this file contains some text or some statements which I have grabbed it from a Wikipedia. Let me quickly run this and show you what this text looks like. So this text is somewhat like this. Homelessness or houselessness is also known as a state of being unhoused or unsheltered. So this is a long text I would say. And idea is to summarize this text. Now, how can we summarize this text? So the first thing is we need to construct the prompt out of it. So I am saying take this input as it is the whole file and then use this particular model GPT 3.5 turbo instruct and using the completion endpoint with these certain parameters just generate the summary for me. Now, of course, you are free to use any other model of your choice. I am just taking this one, GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct. Now, if I'm going to run the cell, you will see that there are some errors over here. And what are these errors? Let's have a look at it. So here it is saying the model's maximum context length is 4097 tokens. However, you are you requested 4278 tokens. And out of that, you can see that 2000 is for completion and 2278 is my prompt. Now, how can we do this? How can we sort out this issue? And we can do this by chunking our input. So rather than passing the entire text file in one shot, we can just pass it in a small small portions and then generate the summary out of it so what we are going to do next is we are going to read a text file this particular variable input underscore text we will partition this files into file into multiple chunks and for every individual chunk we are going to generate the summary and then we can uh, accumulate those summary all together at the end so I'm not going to do this uh, post-processing work, but I'm going to definitely show you how can we chunk this entire thing. So here, here I said like I'm using NumPy and using NumPy, what I'm doing is I'm saying take this input text, separate it with space. And once I'm separating with space, I'm having all the words of my text file in this particular variable words. Now I'm taking all those words and generating the array out of it. So in this particular line, I'm saying that generate eight arrays out of uh, all the words which it is having. So it will try to generate eight arrays by splitting it using array split, which is of NumPy. And then I can show you how it looks like. So here you can see that chunk of words is something like this. And you can see that the array is constructed. This is first element of the array. And subsequently, you will see many other elements. Now, if you want to see how many elements are generated all together, we can go ahead and calculate the length of it. So we can say chunk of words. And you can see that the length is 8 because we just asked this NumPy to construct the 8 different arrays for us out of those words. So now we have 8 chunks. That means these 8 chunks we can pass in individually to OpenAI completion endpoint and generate the summary out of it. So now we have the chunk of words but again we need to construct a sentence out of it because all these chunks are having the comma separated values, right? So here I am saying, uh, using this join function, construct the sen sentence for me again. So now, whatever the words we are having in those individual chunks from one to eight, it will grab those and simply append it back to back. And that's how we can construct the sentence. So let me run this particular step as well. 
and you can see that now we have a perfect statement here so chunk of words was having individual words but now chunk of sentences having a, st a statements which is combination or the i would say the collection of all the words which we constructed in above step now we have this chunk of sentences and we can go ahead and pass this particular chunk of sentence here as a prompt so here you can see that instead of entire text file now i'm just using the chunk of sentences which is nothing but my first array and now if i will go ahead and run this definitely we will have our output ready let me scroll it a bit so that we can have a look at the output so this is what the summary it has generated so homelessness is the state of lacking stable safe and functional housing and it includes people living on the street in temporary shelters or without a permanent home so this is the entire text it has generated for us now whatever whatever i am doing is just for one particular array and in your case uh, if you are having huge text file you will have definitely you will have multiple arrays so here we have eight arrays it means we we need to run these three cells eight times so that is straightforward i would say it's just a housekeeping work you need to put a for loop or any iterator of your choice and call these functions so when you are writing your production application definitely you need to put this entire thing into a function so that you can parameterize that function using this particular array and once that is done at, as an end step or at the end before closing the function you can again aggregate your results so at the end of day you will have eight different summaries which you can club it and show it as a single summary so this is how you can do it but definitely you should go for this approach if you do not want to go with the existing libraries which are already there so in my previous videos you must have seen i was using character splitter which was offering from Langchain. so that is again a very great library if you do not have any issues i would still prefer or uh, recommend you to use that one but if you feel that you do not want to go for these external libraries then this could be the simplest solution for you i hope you enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching